right, I'm really excited to talk to you about our discipleship pathway. You see, because really this is kind of the backbone of our church in a lot of ways. Of course, it aligns with the gospel, but that's really our mission of the church is, is, is to see that we would experience, connect, and respond to the gospel. And so what we want to do is, is not just to say, that's our mission, good luck, go try to do it. We wanted to say, no, that's our mission, and this is how we're going to accomplish it. We're going to walk this pathway together. And so this is what, where this comes from, because I think a lot of times we can get to this point where we say, well, I've been saved, I've I got baptized, but I really don't know what the next step is. And so this is designed to say, this is your next step. And not only is it your next step, this is a step we want to take and grab you by the arm with and walk you through the next steps. And then hopefully one day the Lord will use you to grab somebody else's arm and walk them through these steps as well. The discipleship pathway. So what is it? Well, the first part is this idea of experiencing God. And that's a, experiencing God, experiencing the gospel, that first kind of introduction to this. And that can happen through a sermon series. You come and you hear a message and you feel like you experience the gospel maybe for the first time or maybe for uh, many times now. But you got that experience. Or whether it was VBS or men's or women's event or, or even an outreach event, testimonies, invites, literally whatever it is. Somehow you experience the gospel. And hopefully since you're watching this, you've already had that happen in some level or another. And so then you're thinking, what's my next step? And of course, salvation and, and, and baptism is in this uh, somewhere, but, but maybe that's already happened or maybe you're working your way to that and God's revealing himself and, and you're going to call out and, and this is part of that whole process too. But I know the next step for you is to connect to the gospel. If you've experienced it, now you're to connect with it. And, and we do that by connecting in relationships with one another. And so the first part of this idea of connecting is corporate worship. Maybe you come kind of sporadically. We want to help you come faithfully, and we believe that's important to worship corporately together. And that's a good next step, to come faithfully to worship. And then not only that, but get into a small group. That's kind of these ideas, these friendship groups. And really, we offer a Sunday school for that. Um, we offer a Wednesday night um, home groups or groups right now in which we're going through the sermon that we preached on Sunday morning and going deeper. It's been a, really a blast to do that. And so getting into these small groups in which you can make connections and relationships with one another is really that next step. And then it's this idea of, of a discipleship group. And this is kind of like a small group on steroids. You get normally uh, just a few, maybe four or five different people, usually the same sex, so four or five men or four or five women get together and you dive deep into the scripture and you hold each other accountable. Sometimes there's a memorization of scripture in that. There's a, a lot of times we use the tool called Multiply. It's a book that we go through and, and it's more in dense. It's in depth. It's, it's like six months of, of doing that together and some of your greatest relationships will come from that and your greatest connections of the gospel and with people are going to happen from that and so that's the next step then what where do you go from there there's got to be more right and there is that's responding to God and the gospel responding to all of this that he's been doing and so how do you do that well there's mission trips we have uh, which we go internationally try to every two years there's uh, serving and volunteering literally wherever. There's all kinds of places you can serve the Lord, not just in here, but in our community. There's uh, sharing the gospel, making disciples, maybe leading a discipleship group, um, teaching and leading whatever it is, simply taking someone else through this pathway. And so all these different ways in which we get to interact on this pathway is really exciting. And I hope that excites you. And I hope you understand it just a little bit more. And if you ever have questions, I know I've really rushed through this. But if you have questions, simply come back here to the back of the sanctuary. It's called the Friendship Center and say, I need help finding my next step. And we'll walk through this with you. So I hope that helps. I hope you take your next step. What is it today? Take it and enjoy what the Lord will do.